Good afternoon and welcome to another unboxing with me, Adam, from Board at Home. Today's video we are taking a look at a Game of Thrones, the board game. This is a game all about political intrigue and area control. If you've played games like Risk, think that, but amped up quite a few levels. It's a very, very involved game, very intensive, and we're going to take a look inside the box today and show you what is there to begin your journey to the Iron Throne. So... We've got our game boards. We will show you that in just a moment. We'll get that out properly for you. So we've got our rules of play. Now, this is a long rule book and it is a long game. Still, they do a good job here with lots of examples, but this is the kind of game that you will need to sit down and read through this as you go through. Your first game's probably gonna be very long as you get used to the idea of everything that is within the game itself. Do have a nice uh, reference guide here as well. So you've got that to hand if you need it. Now, each player will be given a different house. You'll get to choose your house or however you want to decide that. And this will give you a quick reference as well for the different uh, orders that you have, as well as your setup for the start of the turn. Also on the other side, just a nice reminder to all the other players which house you are there. So it looks like there's a lot in the box, and I guess there is, but each player actually has their own set of resources. So within here, we have our player cards. We also have our different tokens for uh, cities, locations. We've got our order tokens here. We also have, if you've played Risk, you'll recognize this kind of thing. We have our different uh, army resources here as well. So we've got siege engines, we've got soldiers, you've got cavalry, you've got ships in there as well. And each player has their own set so uh, looks like a lot but when you break it down not so much uh, in the box per player here we have got our wildling cards so uh, whilst all of this is going in as in the books the wildlings will still be attacking from the north and then we also have here uh, tides of uh, war tokens here wildling tokens and a few of the neutral tokens as well and then we've got various different markers for the players on the game track they're really cool and then for a variant of the uh, player count as well so we'll show you what these do in just a sec we'll get all of this off so that we can show you the game boards So here we go. Now this is whoa, a big board. There we go. Very big <laughs> uh, and a lot going on here. So we've got our wildlings tracker up here. We've got our uh, different locations within the game itself. So we'll be tracking things like the rounds, your victory, you've got your supply and you've got your influence. So that's where these will come in. Depending on who has the most influence at the end of each round, we'll be given these and they will reap the uh, benefits of those. That is also where this comes in, in case of a lower player count, we're just replacing part of the board there. That is everything for uh, Game of Thrones, a board game. If you like the look of this, it is now available in the board games library for you to play. I would suggest coming down to have a read through the rules or finding a PDF of the rules online so that when you come down, you're good and ready to have a crack at the game. It is a long game. It's going to be a very intensive game as well. So do make sure that you put aside enough time for that. But for only £2 per person each day, you can play all day. So if you want to, you can turn up here 10 a.m., in the morning and stay all the way through till close to make sure you get a really really thorough game of game of thrones in that's everything for this one guys i hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you in the boardroom <laughs>